Pisces. What's going on, my loves? Can you guys love and money? Happy New Year to you. Thank you to everyone that's liked, shared, subscribed. If you guys have purchased my reading or if you donated to my page, thank you so very much. This energy can be masculine or feminine. So place it on whatever side you need to, okay? So let's see what's going on. Who is pulling on Pisces energy? Let's see what's going on. All right. Now, you may have listened to a lot of you. Oh, wow. Spirit said that you was fucking this person, right? And those fuck songs that you had on or that they had on, they keep playing. And all they could do is think about you, Pisces. Right? When them songs come on the radio, they are like mesmerized because their mind goes into that mind-blowing damn sex that y'all had. Mm -hmm. Right? This is a person that feels like they got to do some things. They got to fix some things. They got to be better here or better there. And then they're going to come back towards you because they don't feel like you're going to accept them the way that they are. I don't know what that means to you, um, Pisces. I don't know if you know who this is. OK, this is a person that may have been OK with seeing other people and may have been OK with sharing you at some point, whether they be masculine or feminine. Yeah. Can you think about polygamy? Yeah, we can get down. We can have this person and that person and we can do this and we can do that. Mm -hmm. Right. This person saying, hey, I miss you. I miss you so much. Right. I miss you so much that I'm willing to do that. If that's the way that I got to get you back or keep you or whatever, then I'm down. Whatever I got to do. OK. Mm. Spirit has been pulling this person through an awakening. Right. So this person, they they don't know their ass from their elbow right now. And when I say that, I'm feeling like they're questioning everything because nothing looks the way that they're used to it looking. OK, this is a person that may want to speak to you about spiritual things or they may have a lot of questions or this is a person that knows that you know more uh, about the spiritual side of things than you possibly put on and they feel like they want to have you close. OK, now this is a person that was into some things that they may not wanted to say to you or they had some things going on behind the scenes um, you know, uh, dealing with other people or they had connections to others that they didn't want to let go. Um, there are some things going on you would not understand. I'm sorry. Okay. So this could be, um, that someone just did not know how to detach their energy from certain people and they may have been, um, still connected to others, uh, when you thought that they were just connected to you. Right. But here we go. This person, like I said, got that fuck music over here, right? I think of you when certain songs come on the radio, right? And I'm also having wet dreams because I keep waking up uh, because my mind, my higher self is going to you. And we may be doing whatever we doing on 5D. So Pisces, if you've been waking up and you've been out of sorts, if you've been waking up and you're tired and you've been waking up and, and you feel... <laughs> <laughs> drained just because yeah this person been waxing that ass on the other side you know um you may want to start doing a prayer over yourself before you go to sleep ask archangel michael to guard you okay while you're sleeping and to enclose you um, so that people are not in your energy while you're sleeping call back your energy pisces okay all four corners of the world, known and unknown, um, you know, and and enclose that as well. Make it so it's not accessible to anyone unless you allow it, right? Yeah. <laughs> wet dreams came out twice. Listen, wet dreams just came out twice, okay? So somebody here is thinking about somebody else okay and they're watching fucking tarot card readings too they could be getting readings done somebody here right and i know that you're here with me pisces or a cross watcher right 
But that person that's in your energy could be doing this too, right? Because they're going through an awakening. And where else, you know, where are you drawn to? When you're going through an awakening, you're drawn to a tarot reading or you're drawn to some higher power so that you can get some answers, right? This person is feeling very clingy right now. Um, they feel like they don't want to let go of your energy. They feel like they want to stay in your energy. They want to keep up to and what's going on with you on the back inside. Spirit is trying to pull them through the synchronicities, right? They're paying attention to angel numbers. They're paying attention to birthdays. They may see your birthday all the time, uh, Pisces, or you may see theirs, okay? And this is just the clarification of spirit saying, hey, this person is in your energy. So pay attention to what's going on. Also, if you guys see any numbers, okay? And you see 777 or something of that nature. Pay attention to whatever you was thinking about right before you saw that number. Okay. Or whatever you was doing right before you saw that number. Okay. And make sure that you Google angel number 777 and see what the message is for you. Okay. You want to be diligent because uh, spirit is communicating with you. Yep, so someone's getting reading. Because they want to keep up with what's going on in your life. Or this could be you. Take it how it resonates. Someone here is very clingy. They don't want to let an attachment go. Or they feel like, you know, someone just does it for them. And they just don't want to let that person go. Like, yo, you, you, you just get me ready each time. So I just, yeah, I need that in my life. Somebody's saying that, okay? Let's see what else is going on. Thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> now, this person may think that you are the Ten of Pentacles, right? That you are someone that can give them a good home life, a good life, period. Right? They can have some good shit with you. Okay? I feel like this person feels like you make good money, Pisces. You may know, uh, if you do know who this person is, you may know that they also make good money. They're thinking about, hey, if I was ever with Pisces... You know, we could put our money together. We would do this. We would travel. We would have, you know, um, you know, vacations. We would be lounging. We'd have this type of life. I feel like someone is in uh, a mode of fantasy thinking about what they would have with another person. OK, um, but there's no energy going towards the other person. I feel like the energy is just someone thinking about it. All right. In the 3D, it's just a thought. In the 5D, people fuck it, okay? So we have the hangman energy here, right? This is somebody that uh, may have gotten into some shit and spirit sat them down, okay? With this, I'm going through an awakening card and this hangman energy, I feel like spirit says, sit your ass down. Like, I'm trying to get you to pay attention to what's going on, but you're not paying attention. I feel like somebody is in school and they don't even know it, okay? Someone is needing to surrender to a higher higher uh, will here, but they're fighting along the way. <laughs> but spirit is dragging them, like, by their nose, like, got two fingers in each nostril and shit, and just dragging them. Um, and this person doesn't know what to do. OK, I feel like nothing in their life is going the way that they need it to go right now. I feel like everything is on standby because spirit is pulling them through this awakening. Like, yo, whatever you thought was going to happen ain't happening because you need to go through this and you need to focus. OK, so this person seeing their life, they may feel like, you know, everything is stagnant. Everything is just not moving or nothing's going their way. But spirit has it like that for a reason. OK. So we have, um, and, and oh, thank you, Spirit. Spirit is saying this is the way the relationship was with, with this person too, for you, um, uh, Pisces. This person, you know, you guys were stagnant. Things didn't go past a certain place. And maybe it's because you guys were not on the same page in all areas, okay, right? You guys were not seeing things the same way, or maybe you guys wanted things differently than the other person, Okay. Knight of Swords energy is here. This is air sign or a Taurus, right? Somebody here 
felt like they were like a perfectionist. Things had to be a certain way or they, they saw things going a certain way. This is what they wanted, right? Someone wanted to fight for things to be that way. And they wanted to also be able to seize other type of opportunities, right? This is not a person that's saying, you know what, I'm only just over here, but yeah, if an opportunity comes up, I'm taking it. Whether that be a piece of piece of ass going past them or whatever, okay? I feel like someone was not exclusive, um, they didn't even have an exclusive mindset, okay? This is what I'm getting, right? This person moved very impulsively or may have made an impulsive decision. And if this is not someone in your energy or someone pulling on your energy, this could be your energy, Pisces. If, if it is, just place it on whatever side, okay? No, no judgment here, all right? So look. We have the Eight of Wands. This is the last card here. This is Sagittarius energy. Okay? Someone may have Sagittarius in their chart. Someone may be trying to make some changes in their life. Okay? Our spirit is trying to get this person to make some, some changes in their life. This is a person. Okay? Uh, that rushes, that is hasty, that makes split decisions. Um, somebody may see this person or may have felt this person's energy. We just came through the holidays. Um, so you may have felt this person's energy really, really strong over the holidays. And it's because, you know, their mind was focused on you, even when they were with other people. Okay. This is a bit of an obsession. I just want you guys to know, um, I feel like you are focused on getting yourself in gear. You don't want to revisit um, a, something that's going to make your life stop. I feel like you feel, feel like in your life, Pisces, you, you've learned some valuable lessons and you know not to go back to a place or to a person that's going to cause you um, to have grief or toxicity or something of that nature or the blessings that you were into or asking for. Um, we're not working out or we're not coming to you. You don't want to be back there. Okay. So no stagnation for you. No, no hangman energy for you. Instead, you want to run towards the things. And even if you're making hasty decisions, you want to run towards those things um, that are meant for you. Okay. You have ancestral um, knowledge and ancestral um, assistance here. Okay. You're being guided to chase the things that are most important to you and to actually fight for those things that you need to be fighting for, for yourself. Okay. I feel like you um, are needing to be a, a person that fights for the things that they feel uh, are most important to them. And for some of you, this is travel. This is um, having a good life. This is experiencing life. This is, this is experiencing different foods and different cultures. I feel like someone here you know, Spirit is calling you to really explore you and, and the things that make you happy, whatever that may be, okay? And this is what you need to actually uh, focus on. And while you're doing this, Pisces, you're going to meet someone that is worthy of your time, your attention, and your love, okay, as you travel, you know? Um, um, this is going to be something that you're going to come up out of your stagnation. If you're not moving forward, you're going to be finally ready to do the things that you need to do. And you're going to be willing to do whatever you got to do to hold on to this person. Cause you're going to finally see that your 10 of pentacles is here. Okay. But this is the energy that I see. All right. So I'm sending you guys love and light. You guys take care.